Hello, my name is Zahid and today we are going to install the gravity form plugin. So let's get started. I have already downloaded the gravity form plugin from the website. It's premium plugin and you will have to purchase it. So uh, I am going to install it. First of all, you will have to log into the dashboard of your website. You will go into plugins, add new. Here you will click on the upload plugin button. Then choose the file. I have already downloaded the file. So I am still selecting that file. Once you have selected the file, click install now button. It's uploading, you can see at bottom left corner, it's uploading. Okay, uploading is done. Now we will click on the activate plugin button. Click on it and it will activate the plugin. Okay, so you, so you see the success message, plugin activated. Now you can see here, we have these forms. This is the logo for the identification of these gravity forms. So click on the forms. Uh, for this license key, if you have the license key, you can put it here. Or if you have got the plugin from someone, your friend or maybe from some website. So if you do not have the license key, uh, then click next to bypass this. Click on this, I understand the risk. Click next. You can choose for the background updates. You can keep this enabled or you can turn these off. So I will go to next. Now it's for the some global settings. It's asking if you are going to sell or charge for some services using the gravity form then you can select the currency here I'm going to select US dollar config mode off toolbar menu on in Akismet integration yes it's actually Akismet is used for the spam protection it's or, uh, packaged with the WordPress installation when you install new WordPress this plugin is included in the installation so click next and then installation is complete so let's create a new form first of all it's asking for a form title so I will give it, give it a title okay so once you have given the title and description you will click on the create form button So we are going to add the fields here. So let's add some fields. I will add first single line field here. You will drag the fields from here and drop it on this side. So then we will click on this little arrow down title. You can change and set all the options here. You can add the CSS classes custom and you have this description option, placeholder text, all the things you can do. So I have created a first name field. Then we will add the email field. Actually here is the email field in this advanced field option so you will select the email field drop it here and so our email field is added we can also enable the email confirmation if we want all the settings we have
now I am going to add this website field here so website field is added now we can add the text area for this we can add the paragraph text here so here is the paragraph text I can add it its title as message So once you are done creating the form, you will click on the update button and it will update the form. Okay, so form updated successfully. Now you can see here this uh, button settings. You can click on the settings. So it shows you the uh, form title, description, label placement description and all these settings you can adjust you see here form button button text we have submit here i will change it to send message so once you have done all these settings you can click on the update form settings button and it will update the fields confirmations click on this you see here default confirmation text it will say thanks for contacting us we will get in touch with you shortly you can edit this text as well so you see here we can edit it we can add any styles to it also and notifications section is about the notification of the form submission it will notify the admin so you see here admin email and these are all the tags form tags to show the fields you can you can change your email send to email so it will uh, you can see here enter the email address you would like the notification email sent to if you will enter admin email is the email you enter here in the settings general so you can put here the email you want and once you are done you can scroll down and click on this update notification button and it will update the form now we have to a, a, this link entries is the link where you see all the form submissions and preview is the preview of this form that we have created so you see here this is the form we created this is the title description name email these are the fields if we fill out the fields so you can see once i have submitted the form it said thanks for contacting us we will get in touch with you shortly and now if you up, uh, refresh the page here you will see one entry so you see this is the name we enter this is the email this is the website and this is the message and uh, you will also receive the notification on the email address you have entered to receive the notification from okay so you can also add this form in the any page as for this you have to go to the pages add new or you can also add to an existing page so I will just adding it in a new page so first of all like this gravity gravity form test and you can see here this is the short code generator for gravity form so you will first click on this box and then click on this we have the test 01 form you can also select, check out these advanced options so i will not display the form title and description so in, click on insert form and it has added the short code for us so let's publish this page
page published view page okay so you you can see here we have the page title and then we have this one and you can do all the stylings here whatever you would like you can adjust the stylings for these so that's all for this tutorial i hope you liked it please subscribe to mc creative studio channel and uh, also check out our website we sell premium themes there and we also provide web development services so uh, if you need any help with any task or project you can uh, get in touch with us we would be happy to help you thank you